Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to that fantastic trick you would have seen yesterday. Hopefully you'll be able to understand this tutorial, because like I said in my performance, I didn't have a clue what was going on. Now it is a setup deck. So you're going to want to get yourself a deck of cards, which is going to be purely for this trick. Now these cards, if you look, now I'm not going to go over the size stepping stack, I will leave a link in the comments to how to set up the stack. But these cards, as you can see, are in the size stepping stack. So what you want to do is get a brand new, not maybe a brand new deck of cards if you want to use it. Set the whole deck up in size stepping stack. Get a couple of jokers. So you're going to set the whole deck into size stepping stack. Cut the deck so you've got the two of clubs as the topmost card. The two of clubs is the topmost card. You are then going to, when you get to the king, so you're going to set them up, so I step and stack the whole deck. Um, you're going to cut the, the two of clubs to the top of the deck. And when you get to the king of spades, that is your stack of size step ins. The rest of the cards you're going to take aside. You're going to get a couple of jokers. These are just going to help you out in a minute. And on the back of these cards, while well, you'll end up with these cards left over. Ace, two, um, B, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, jack, queen, king. You will be left over with these cards from ace to king. And then you'll have four cards left over, we should do. There will be a diamond, a club, a heart and a spade in that. It should be these cards in fact. Right, on the back of these cards, now you know the size stepping stack. It, it's... Like, um, if you've got an ace, then the next card will be a four. So you're going to write a four on the back of the ace. The two will be a five, because the size seven stack runs um, plus three. So two plus three is five. So you're going to write a five on the back of the two. The three plus three is six. So you're going to write a six on the back. And you're going to do that with all of these cards. Now, if you know the size step in stack, this will make a lot of sense to you. A five is an eight. Now, I did make a little bit of a mistake, to be honest, because a queen, um, no, sorry, the eight would be a jack, wouldn't it? But I wrote 11 for some reason. Don't know why, but that would be a J for jack. Like uh, the nine would be a queen, wouldn't it? It would be a queen, but I've written 12. I made a mistake there, I got excited writing the numbers. The 10 is going to be a king and I wrote a 13. So if you know the size step in stack, you know what to write. The ace is going to be a four and throughout the cards. The king is a three because it goes king, ace, two, three. Now these cards can be mixed up, it doesn't matter what order these are in, so give them a shuffle. And then the remainder of the cards you're going to set these up so um, club let's get a club heart spade and diamond now it goes club heart spades diamond so on the back of the club you've written a h for heart on the heart it goes club heart spade so it's a spade s for spade spade is a d for diamond and the queen is a c for club so you've got these set up so club diamond Spade, heart. So I'm going to set these so I know what order they're in. So it's going to be club. Then I want a diamond, wherever that is, yeah. No, club heart, sorry. So it's a club. Spade. So these are the, when I fan the cards, you'll understand in a minute. I know that this is a club, heart, spade, diamond, because it's chased order. Club, heart, spade, diamond. These are going to sit on top of this shuffled packet. Right, so you've got this set in size stebbins. You'll have taken these cards out to do your writing on the back. You're going to take a joker, place it on top of the king, place these cards on top of that joker, and then take another joker, place that on the bottom. So when you start the trick out, you can show 
the backs of the cards, you can say, look, they're all mixed up. It's a good idea to push over these for you. You know there's no writing on these, but there is writing on the back of these. So be careful not to flash any of that. So write it in the middle of the card so you've got a bit of leeway. And if you spread just the top portion, look, these are an inside stebbing stack because you've mixed them up a little bit, whereas these are. Right, how this trick works, it's very simple. Um, you're going to get your spectator just to touch the back of any one card. Bearing in mind you've got some writing right down the bottom here, but I'm pretty sure you can get them to pick a card from the top. Let's say they have this one. Whatever card they take, you're going to put face down on the table. This was the top portion. You're going to put it on the bottom. Um, but sorry, I've forgotten something, haven't I? Let's get that joker back. Is that the joker I want? Yeah, that's the one. And um, what you should do when you're going to start this trick, say, look, inside this packet, I've got a couple of predictions. We'll come back to those in a minute. Come back to those in a minute. Right, pick any card you want. Let's say you have this one. This was the top. It goes on the bottom. Now you're going to say, right, I'm just going to pull out my two predictions. This is a mystery card for now. So turn the packet over. Now, all you're looking at is this Jack of Clubs. You know, if you're looking at the Jack of Clubs, because it's a size stepping stack, it goes Jack, Queen, King, Ace. So you know this is an Ace. It's a club, so you know the suits goes Club, Heart, Space, Diamond. You know this card is the Ace of Hearts. So basically, you're going to go through to your stack. So you're going to, lock, I'm going to call out a couple of predictions. As soon as you get to this first Joker, you know this is a club, this is a heart, this is a spade, this is a diamond. You know this is the ace of hearts. So you're going to go through and you're going to find your joker and you're going to go club, heart. Right, this is my first one. Now, all you're going to do is pull out the jack. You're just going to take the jack of spades out because the jack is the one. So you're going to take these two cards and say, look, these are my two predictions. So now this next bit is a little bit of misdirection. You're going to make them think that this card is either going to be the Jack of Clubs or the Three of Spades. I mean, like in my performance, I said, whatever you choose is the one we'll use. So let's say they say it's the Jack of Clubs. This is going to freak you out. Oh, crap, it's the Ace of Hearts. But when I said these were a prediction, I didn't say the faces. Now this is the kicker when you turn them over and show that this is a heart and this is a one. See what I mean? This should be an A for ace. And there is the ace of hearts, or for you, ace of hearts. Voila, simple. Right, let me just put the trick back together. All you're gonna do is find this um, joker you're going to put this card, so it goes club, heart, you know it goes there. Um, this card can literally go anywhere in that stack, as long as it's somewhere in your stack. That's fine, good to go. Put these on top of these. Find the two of clubs, wherever the two of clubs is. Cut it back to the bottom. And now you're good to go again. Right, let me just show you something crazy. I've got a couple of predictions in here. We'll come back to those in a minute, but first I want you to pick a card. So just pick, just touch the back of any one card you want. So you want this one. Remember, this was the top. It goes on the bottom. Right, I'm just going to pull out my two prediction cards. You're looking at a spade. Club, heart, spades, diamond. This is a diamond, so you're going to go through. Find your first joker. You know this goes club, heart, spade. Right, I'm going to go for this card, and all you'll do is pull out the other three. Oh, I'm going to go for these two. These are my two predictions. So you can either have the three of spades or the nine of diamonds, your choice. Whatever you use, whatever you choose, we'll use. Oh shit, it's a six of diamonds. But I never said it was a faces that they were a prediction because this is a six and this is a diamond. Six of diamonds. So I hope that's a little bit clearer for you guys than the one I watched. Right, let's get this back. Where's that joker? First joker, take the diamond, I know it goes club, heart, spade. So the diamond goes on the bottom. So it's club, heart, spade, diamond. Then you've got your other stack of cards. So right, let's put that in, sorry. Uh, where is it? Club, heart, spades, diamond. So this six can go anywhere after the D. Find that two of clubs. 
cut it to the bottom and you're good to go again. So that's how the trick works guys, I've got no idea what this trick is called, who developed it or anything, it's a fantastic trick. Like I say, the tutorial was an absolute pain in the neck to watch. I do hope that was clear enough. Like I say, there will be a link in the comments to the size stebbing stack, but you only need to, you need to stack the whole deck to start with. And then when you take the stack back, cut the two of clubs to the top of the deck, find, go up to the king of spades, put a joker there, then the rest of the cards, you're going to write the numbers, the corresponding numbers. I mean, if this is a 10, that's a seven because it goes up in three. So if that's a four, you add three to it, that will be a seven. Very simple. And then the final four cards, club, heart, spades, diamonds, and rest of your stack. That goes on the top. Put all this back into the box and you've got yourself one fantastic little trick. So make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the Gaff Academy, post notifications on, and just a little tip, don't write the number one for the ace, write an ace. Don't write 13 for the king like the gaffer, what a cock up, write king. I'm gonna have to find some copag cards because I'm not happy with the numbers one, 11, 12, 13. You don't find one, 11, 12, 13 in cards. It's ace, jack, queen, king. So make sure not to make a mistake like that and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.